Hey guys, so I'm doing my other side of my mannequin. I'm gonna show you how to braid um, Dutch braid. So I did, as you can see, I completed one side already and I'm gonna go ahead and complete the other side. So let's just get this girl back and ready to go. Let's tighten her up so that she's secure and solid. We can get really nice defined braids. First, I'm gonna start off by suctioning her hair. So what you're gonna see me do is in the front, I'm gonna take about, let's say, um, just a, about a triangle size, just a small triangle size in the front, and I'm gonna section those into three strands. So you have one, two, three. So I'm gonna show you a technique here. You have three strands going on, one, two, three. When you are braiding, I'm gonna flip her around. When you are braiding, we're gonna do an individual braid so you get the concept. The technique in order to get the braided look is that you wanna make sure that you're bringing the strand from left to right, left to right. There is a middle strand, but you're not gonna focus too much on the middle strand. You're gonna focus entirely on the left and the right because that's gonna help you to achieve the look that you're going for. So I sectioned out, just to be a little bit more thorough, a little bit more step-by-step -step in detail, um, I sectioned the hair in three. I'm gonna take the strand that's on the right side and I'm gonna, my, my goal is to bring it to the, uh, the left. So I just crossed over the middle strand and went to the left. Now I wanna bring the left to the right. So I'm gonna cross over the middle strand and bring it to the right. Now I'm gonna take from the left, the very left, and I'm gonna bring to the right, and I'm gonna take from the very right and bring to the left. So pretty much I'm bringing, this is the right, I wanna bring the right, I wanna bring the, sorry, the left to the right, and bring the right to the left. And as you go along and do that, I'm like literally taking from left to right, left to right. It creates this braid. Now what we wanna do is we wanna attach it to the scalp. So in order to attach it to the scalp, we wanna achieve the same look, but we want it closer to the scalp. So we need to gather hair. So I'm gonna flip my lovely mannequin around. Let's just make sure this is nice and snug so that we have no tilting. I'm gonna section the front again like I did earlier, and I'm gonna section it in three. So there's three sections. Again, we wanna bring the left to the right and we wanna bring the right to the left. So as I begin my braid, I'm gonna section in three and I like to pinch from the root. So I take my index and my thumb and I pinch at the very root to get a nice secure braid. So to begin, I will take my right side of my braid, my strand, pinch the roots and bring my thumb and my index finger to the left. And then I would do the same thing. Bring my thumb and my index to the right. Now I'm gonna gather hair. So I'm gonna take about a half an inch in width of hair. I'm gonna part it, or I can just use my fingers and part it to make it easier. And I'm gonna gather it into the center because I am going to be able, I wanna bring the right to the left. So I'm bringing the right side of the hair to the left. Now I'm pinching to control. So my index and my, my thumb is really what's gonna help me control the braid and give it that neat finish. So I'm gonna go now and pinch about a half an inch of hair, gather it to the center, and then drag it all the way to the right. So we're going from right to left. So I'm gonna grab hair from the right side and bring it to the center, pinch with my index and my thumb, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the left. And I'm gonna continue doing that as I go along. Now you can see that the width of her hair is a lot. It's a lot of hair to work with. So what you wanna do is make sure you're using your index and your, and your thumb in order to control the amount of hair that you're picking up. If you're, it cannot fit between the index and the thumb, you leave it alone. I'm gonna go ahead and cross over. So I'm taking from the right, bringing to the center and dragging it all the way to the, from the left to the right. I'm taking from the right side 
bringing it to the center just to maintain control and then I'm dragging it all the way to the left. And I'm gonna continue doing this consistently until I reach the bottom of the hair. So I'm just grabbing hair and it doesn't have to be neat, it doesn't have to be defined how much hair you're grabbing because it eventually kind of gathers and closes anyways and you won't see any lines of separation. So I'm gonna gather the hair from the right. Sometimes you might need to use your comb to control the hair a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab hair from the left, from the right. I'm gonna bring it to the center, pinch with my index and my thumb, and I'm gonna bring it to the left. And I'm gonna continue doing that. So I'm doing it in um, a consistent um, pattern and rotation and we're just exchanging from side to side. But the key here is to know exactly how to braid with that method of bringing from right side to the left side in order to make sure that you're getting the results in the center. So this is the pattern you want. You want it to be woven like this, but you want to ensure that you're grabbing hair. Grabbing the hair is what's gonna allow you to get that flat braid. So again, I'm sectioning off the hair. I'm taking just en enough that can I can control with my, pin my, my index finger and my thumb. And I'm separating with my thumb. So my thumb is kind of, act it's acting like the comb in some case. And just gathering what I need. And I'm braiding and sectioning, braiding and sectioning. So again, gathering the hair, braiding it down and sectioning. Of course, it's not the easiest to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and use my duck bill clip and just secure that right there because I need to adjust the, the mannequin head. This is why you get really good mannequins, but I needed a textured mannequin and it was an emergency and I needed to get something quickly. So I'm not gonna be too picky. I just need to go ahead and secure that to the desk so that we don't have any other issues and then i'm going to remove the duck bill i'm going to continue where i left off so i'm going to gather my index and my thumb on the right side and then i'm going to gather my index and my thumb on the left side and i'm going to pinch and i'm going to grab hair from the right side and i'm going to bring it to the center and then bring it across to drag it to the left because the idea is that we want to make sure we're getting hair from the left side to the right side don't focus entirely on the center, focus on the left and focus on the right. You can get really mixed up if you're so concentrated on what we're gonna do with the middle strand. The middle strand will work its way around everything. Once you're focused on getting hair from left to right and from right to left, you will hands down get the look. The pattern will fall in place naturally. So I'm gonna grab hair. You will notice that as I get to the, the bottom on the opposite side, there's less hair on one side and that's perfectly fine. You just gather what you can and then you grab from the right side and bring over. If you don't have any hair, you just take the hair that you have on the left and just bring it over and you grab on the side. The technique itself, once you practice and get into the motion of doing pulling hair from the left to the right, the braid will naturally kind of like phase in and fill out how you want it. It's about maintaining control with the hair and then over time you will know how to exactly position and angle your braid where you want it. When you're practicing initially, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be more so focusing on how to get the technique. So I am going to braid. Um, as you see, I'm bringing the left to the right, the right to the left. And I'm going to braid until I get all the way down to the very end. And when, once I get to the end, just braid that out. Once I get to the end, the look is completed. You can secure the ends with a rubber band, an elastic band, whatever floats your boat, um, just to make sure that that braid um, holds up very well long term. What I like to do is just go the extra step and I kind of like to lay down any flyaways or any hair that got left out or um, if there's any kind of like humps or no smooth or texture, I like to kind of just smooth down with the comb. Now, usually when I do this technique on a client, I would definitely be using product because product is gonna help me maintain the longevity of the style because of course they want the style done in order to last for a longer period of time. But in this case,